I'm up on the roof again just looking at the final setup before my stuff comes in. Um, as of course I used a template before um, I just fashioned a template for the iron ridge um, just basically gives me the hole offset so I could just for sanity just put it with the holes um, so you could see on the out the outline outlined in yellow uh, crayon the uh, proximate where the where the panels are going to end up so I could gauge the interference if any and then um, what I did was I this was the easiest place to get the access to the attic. I basically put up two lines, two screws here, and then I, I um, snapped a line across, you know, between, or I put a straight edge between the two screws, and I used that as the main reference point. Then I set those screws there, and then I used those screws to measure um, the next screw. Of course, I needed to snap these lines, um, these, the, these long lines, um, before I did that. So it's important to snap your long lines and see where you are on this lineup right here, um, where you're going to put your holes. Um, so this lineup right here is critical where the flashing meets the edge of the um, shingle, and that's going to be your main, um, that's your one of your main constraints of where, where you're going to uh, place your um, um, flashings. Of course, the other constraint would be, you know, where your um, where your ceiling joists are. So um, the white screws appear to be a pretty nice thing right now um, because I can measure between the screws and it gives me a nice place to put my tape measures so I can make sure I get pretty accurate um, uh, measurements. I just add an eighth for the width of the screw and I can confirm all my measurements.